Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to test the windings of a compressor. The tools needed are a flat screwdriver and an electrical tester. Use the screwdriver to depress the tabs located on the side of the compressor terminal cover. Remove the cover. Next, make note of the wire colors and the terminals they are attached to. Remove these wires. Set the tester to ohms resistance as seen here. Test from R to C. Note the resistance. Next, test from S to C and note this resistance. And finally, test from R to S and note that resistance. The resistance from S to R should be equal to the resistance from S to C plus the resistance from R to C. In this example, we have no resistance across the terminals. This indicates the compressor has open windings. Open windings indicate that either the compressor is bad or it has overheated and needs time to cool down. Give most compressors at least 8 hours to completely cool off before declaring the compressor bad because of open windings. Next, switch your tester to continuity and test each terminal to ground. If there is continuity to ground on any terminal with the compressor, the compressor is bad and must be replaced. This test will only verify the status of the motor windings. The compressor may still have bad valves or be locked and unable to start. Watch the tutorials titled Compressor-Testing for Locked Rotor or Compressors-Identifying Bad Valves. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned as we introduce you to the super cool slide rule. This tool will save you tons of money by saving you tons of time. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas. It has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The Super Cool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.